Yeah. <laughs> it That is a Wobba Fett with lipstick on it. That's sure what that is. What's up, guys? It's Silver. I hope you're all doing well. I have a very exciting unboxing review for you all today. This is the brand new Pokemon Scare World Johto region set from Bandai. I've been talking about Scare World figures on my channel for a while now, and I previously reviewed the Mewtwo Scare World figure. I'll leave a card up here if you haven't seen that yet, but I really enjoyed Mewtwo, and I'm very, very excited for this set. Gen 2 is my favorite generation of all time. Uh, for Alligator is my favorite starter. You might notice we only have Typhlosion here. For Alligator and Meganium will be coming out separately later this month. But yes, this entire set just looks incredible. I'm very excited for this. You can see the 15 Pokemon that are included here. And here is the side of the box. This box is pretty massive, by the way. I was kind of shocked at how big this box is. But here you can see all the different boxes these figures come in. So like Espeon and Chikorita are going to be packaged together is what that means basically. I'm looking forward to Typhlosion the most by far. But yeah, I'm pretty excited for everyone here. Then over here again for Alligator and Meganium will be released later this month. But uh, yeah, these are 120th scale figures, so I, you, I love me a scaled series, just like the, the Zukon back in the day. But yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and crack this box open. Got my handy dandy X-Acto knife. So we've got eight different boxes here in total. And our first box here has Chikorita and Espeon inside of it. Okay, let's just stick the box over there. So, okay, let's open these one at a time. So we have Chikorita and Espeon. Again, these boxes are pretty nice. I like the green color on this one. All right, so we've cracked this one open. Of course, we have our piece of gum. These are candy figures at the end of the day. I'll keep my, my gum pile over here. Just now realizing I should have brought scissors. Oh, well. <laughs> that X-Acto knife should work. Okay, so here is the box with Espeon. Oh, look at this. Look at this tiny little box for Chikorita. That's so cute. Wow, it smells very much like plastic in here. <laughs> very, very strong plastic smell. And looks like we got a, a base. All right, so we can get this. Get that out of here. Wow, that was the worst box opening ever. All right, so we've got, oh, Chikorita is so, so cute. And I will zoom in in just a second. Let me get these, let me get everybody out of the box first. Ooh, I really like Espeon. Espeon is probably my favorite evolution, so I'm quite hyped for Espeon. So let's see, I guess the, which, okay, okay. So this base is for Espeon. Ooh, Espeon actually can stand. So this base doesn't seem like it's super necessary as I like can't hold on to anything tonight. So yeah, you just push the back of the base into Espeon's back legs and tail, and uh, there we go. But yeah, the base seems rather unnecessary as Espeon will stand. And let's look at <laughs> little Chikorita. Ah, it's so cute. I don't know what it is about tiny figures that's so like charming to me. And we got some copyright on the back. Chikorita does have a little tiny built-in uh, support. But, uh, yeah. There's Chikorita. 
an Espeon. Let's go ahead and keep cracking these open. So second box, we have Cyndaquil and Quilava. Let's see if I can open this one a little bit faster than the first one. There we go. Again, piece of gum, very important. All right, let's see. Cyndaquil, ooh, Cyndaquil looks great. All right. I'm gonna go get my scissors real quick because I'm gonna like cut myself with this. I just know it. Scissors have been obtained. All right, so we got, wow, Cyndaquil looks great. These, these flames look super nice. All right, let's probably cool lava. This looks like a, a pack of matches almost. Oh, it's Quilava's uh, flames. All right, so here's Quilava. Let's zoom in. And let's see, this is just his flame. So yeah, all you do is just push the pieces together. Sometimes it can be a little bit difficult. There we go. Just gotta give it a, a a bit of a push. And yeah, that's it. Let's see. Which one of these needed... Is this Quilava? Like... Both of these guys can stand, pretty much. But yeah, here's Cyndaquil. The flames look fantastic. Cyndaquil is just so cute. And here's Quilava. Again, really nice flames. They look fantastic. Super clean, too. Like, I have seen some reviews of Scale World figures where the paint was kind of like, you know, eh. So, the fact that everyone so far looks really, really well done and clean makes me happy. Um, who does this base belong to? <laughs> I swear, half the half the okay. It Quilava. It supports Quilava's uh, flame and butt. <laughs> there we go. Quilava just sits on there to for for some support. So there we go. There's Quilava and Cyndaquil. All and now we have Totodile and Umbreon. So it's interesting to me that we got. Uh, Quilava and not Crocodile or Bayleaf. Which is a bit of a shame because I really do like Bayleaf and Crocodile a lot. I'm just dropping everything. I, I just love that there's like a window on the box for some reason. I don't I don't know what the point of that is, but it's pretty great. All right, so there's Umbreon. I would assume the basis for Umbreon. Um, Quilava fell over. I knocked it over. Let's see. There you go, bud. Espeon has also been knocked over. So I can see why they included a base for, for Espeon, but... All right, let's see. We've got Totodile here. Totodile is just, again, <laughs> you're going to hear me say this a lot. Very cute. I really like the pink spines on the back here. we got some copyright on the bottom. Like, this side of the face looks, like, perfect, but then this side, there's, like, a bit of a seam almost, but, yeah, that's very, that's very minor. Overall, Totodile looks pretty cute. And now let's look at, <laughs> as I knock him completely over, let's look at Umbreon, who I know many of you is, this, this Pokemon is probably your favorite Eeveelution. I feel like Umbreon gets a ton of love. 
Yeah, the red eyes and the ring. You can even see it's got a tiny little like black nose on top of the black paint. Umbreon looks fantastic. All right, and this base, which kind of looks like a puzzle piece almost. There we go. You just It just supports Umbreon's back legs. I really like the bases so far for all these Scale World figures. Like, this is so, like, non-intrusive versus the <laughs> Lunala Tomi figure I reviewed the other in the last video. It's, like, night and day. All right, so we've got our first Wobbuffet. This is Wobbuffet and Unknown. Unknown G. G and S for gold and silver. Wow, Wobbuffet is actually pretty heavy. This is a pretty substantial figure. Alright, and then we've got a base, of course, for Unknown. Alright, let's look at Wob first. Wobbuffet is super cute. You can see there are some seams on this guy, but thankfully from the front you can't you can't even notice them. Here's the 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 little tail, which I've always liked to believe that's the actual Wobbuffet, and this is the decoy. Like I'm not super up to date on my Wobbuffet lore, but <laughs> that's always what I've thought at least. But yeah, Wobbuffet looks great. This is. <laughs> Already better than the Wobbuffet from the Mega House Jesse set way back long ago, if you guys remember that review. But yeah, Wobbuffet is super cute. It's actually like a nice, heavy, solid figure. So great. You love to see it. Then we've got Unknown, who... <laughs> yeah, it, it sure is Unknown, isn't it? Got copyright Pokemon on the back. Okay. Let's get him into the base. All right, and that is super simple. Again, I really like these bases. They're nice and clear. You know, they do the job without being super intrusive. Okay, let's see, we've got four. I assume it's gonna be the female version. I thought for a second I just picked up the identical box. Yeah, let's assume this is going to be the female version. Okay, it is. <laughs> I got scared for a second there. I'm like, wait a second. But yeah, the boxes for these two are exactly the same. Alright, so we have Wobbuffet Female, which <laughs> I talked about this when I first did a video on the Johto Scale World set, but yeah, I wish this would have been another Pokemon, you know, maybe like <laughs> Girafferig, um, Lantern, Zatu, literally anything else, but you know, <laughs> this is what we've got. So yeah, it's just Wobbuffet with lipstick. <laughs> There's also a space between the mouth, so it doesn't look super great, but Yeah, this is probably my only complaint of the whole set like this would have been so much better if it was another Pokemon There's so many good Gen 2 Pokemon Ursaring, Scizor, Tyranitar, etc. But uh, yeah <laughs> It that is a Wobbuffet with lipstick on it. That's sure what that is And then we have unknown s Let's see, like, I'm not sure how much this picks up, but the, the center here is like kind of, I don't even know what to just, it almost looks marbled, but it's not as, as pure white as the previous unknown, unknown G. Yeah, there is unknown S. So we've got gold silver. Okay. 
Okay, we're really getting down to it now. We've got three more boxes left, actually. Let's get that out of here. So we've got Apom, uh, Togepi Pichu, what I'm looking forward to the most, and then Ethan. Or Gold. Whatever you want to call him. But uh, yeah, let's take a look at the smallest this set has to offer. I really like the pink box, by the way. Wow, Pichu is tiny! Look at tiny, tiny little Pichu! Oh my goodness. Pichu is so stinking cute. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, we've got... Wow, this is such a small base. Is that even... Yeah, there it is. You have to be super careful with these or you will lose them. <laughs> Okay, we've got Egg. And I'm really glad to see Apom included in this set. I really enjoy Apom and I especially like Ambipom. Ambipom is one of my favorite 4th gen evolutions, so to see some Apom representation... Great. <laughs> Super happy about that. Mmm, alright, let's see. Look at- I just- Pichu looks so, so nice. Look at the detail on this tiny little baby mouse. Here's the back. They even managed to fit a copyright on it. <laughs> I can't believe how nice Pichu looks. What a, what a cutie. Okay, let's... How do I get this? Small, tiny lad onto this base. Okay, so you just like back it, you just push Pichu back into the base, and uh, that's how it works. There you go, little friend. Okay, let's look at Egg. <laughs> my, my favorite Egg Togepi. Really cute detail on Togepi as well. All the spots, the eyes, again. Like, for being such tiny figures, stop focusing on Apom, camera. <laughs> I- the camera likes Apom, too. Just so, so cute. I'm like sh I'm like stunned over how nice and clean the paint is on these tiny, teeny, tiny little figures. But yeah, there's Togepi. Okay, camera, now you can look at Apom. <laughs> Who looks great, by the way. I just love this tail. It's so cute. No articulation on any of these guys, by the way, but... They are just candy figures. But for being candy figures, I've been super impressed so far with all of these. But, uh, yeah, there's Apom. Let's see, how do we fit this boy on the base? Okay, again. You usually just slide them back in and it will work. So there is the base for Apom. Alright guys, we're finally here. We're finally to my most anticipated figure of the set, Typhlosion. Fun fact, I had a beta fish as a child named Typhlosion. <laughs> I don't know what inspired me to call a fish Typhlosion. Probably the color. I believe it was like a, a nice red color, but... Yes, I've always really, really, really loved the Gen 2 starters so much. They are my favorite set of starters out of any generation. Typhlosion is super hefty as well, as you might imagine. Alright, so let's get Typhlosion's collar on. Collar? Flame? Flames? Flames.
Okay, there we go. I had it backwards. Just got to give it a nice push. And there we go. All right. Let's take a look at Typhlosion. So the eyes are really nice. I like the teeth. Again, the flames, just as with Cinequil and Quilava, like these flames are, are really well done. They look great. We do have a seam around the mouth, which, you know, isn't my favorite, but again, it, it, it's just something that I guess has to happen. There's the back. We got some copyright on, on here. So Typhlosion looks great. It's just nice to have like a really big Typhlosion figure. I feel like the Gen 2 starters like never get any love. <laughs> In terms of like both, you know, general in general and then merchandise. So it's really nice to just have figures of a lot of Gen 2 Pokemon. And my boy Typhlosion, for Alligator and Meganium, they all deserve it. So you love to see it. <laughs> you really love to see it. All right, final figure. We've got the one human trainer. And this is the first uh, human character for Scale World that I've seen in person. So you all know during my original video, I'm like, every time I look at the humans, I'm like, hmm, they don't look super great. So time to see what they look like in real life. Okay, let's get my boy Gold out of here. Here we go. Let's see. He's kind of got some dead looking eyes here. I'm not going to lie. There's a bit of like paint smudge on his hat right here. I'm not sure if my camera can pick that up, but the neck is kind of scary. <laughs> yeah, something about this neck just doesn't look quite right. And I've noticed that in a couple of other like pictures of the human scale world figures. The head just being plopped on there is a bit strange, but... The jacket looks nice, the bag. His sneakers look pretty good. But yeah, I wouldn't like go out of my way to buy any of these human trainers. But he does look decent, you know. <laughs> Again, I'm much more of a, I like, I'm here for the Pokemon, you know? I'm here for the Pokemon, but there we go. There he is in his base. If you are a big fan of any of these trainers, I mean, merch is still merch, even if they are a little bit janky looking. But yeah, there is Gold slash Ethan. I like his wave, his little polite wave. Alright, so basically every single Pokemon here I really, really enjoyed. Um, there wasn't, well, I mean, maybe besides female Wobbuffet, but... For the most part, this set is fantastic. I was really impressed by Typhlosion, Cyndaquil Quilava, Espeon Umbreon, and Pichu, particularly, like, <laughs> teeny, teeny tiny little Pichu. But yeah, let's go over to the turntable and show you guys some 360s of these figures. Let's start off strong with Typhlosion, Quilava, and Cyndaquil. Again, the flames here are just so fantastically done, and the paint job is very clean. Typhlosion does have a seam, but for the most part, I really can't recommend this trio of figures enough. Next, we have Espeon and Umbreon, and if I had to pick one, I would probably pick Umbreon, but I do really like both of these figures a lot. And of course, if you like Eeveelutions, I think these two would be perfect for you. Okay, so now we have the two Wobbuffets, and I don't think I would go out of my way to purchase either of these figures, but I do think the original Wobbuffet is a nice, sturdy, high-quality figure. I would 100% pass on the female version, but if you're into big meme Pokemon, it would be definitely a funny figure to have. 
Here we have the two unknown, and now you can really see what I was talking about earlier on the S unknown. It looks pretty, like, muddy. I don't really know what to make of it, but yeah, I, again, I don't think I would go out of my way to purchase these two. I'm not exactly <laughs> the biggest unknown fan, but for what they are, I mean, they're pretty decent. Next up, we have Ethan, Apom, Chikorita, and Totodile. Apom is probably my favorite out of this batch of figures, but I do also really like Chikorita and Totodile as well. Again, I would 100% pass on Ethan. You can see those dead eyes, but yeah, overall, I really do enjoy Apom, Chikorita, and Totodile. And last, but certainly not least, we have our two baby Pokemon. Pichu is just so stinking cute. I can't, I, like, every time I see it, I'm like, aw. <laughs> But yeah, Togepi, the, the paint around the arms is actually a little bit messy. I did not catch this the first time around. But yeah, if you're really into Pichu, this figure is just so cute and tiny. I just can't get enough of it. But yeah, guys, that is my full unboxing review of the Bandai Scale World Johto region set. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up as it does help the channel out a lot. And of course, links to everything will be in the description down below, and I will also have individual links to all of the different sets on eBay in case you're interested in buying these figures individually. Other than that, be sure to follow me on Twitch. I stream pretty much every day except for Monday and Friday at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can see me shiny hunting a lit, and I've been doing a lot of shiny hunting lately. And that's pretty much it. I think I've rambled on long enough. This is one of the longest videos I've had in quite a while. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And thank you all so very much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next one.